So what can cause a break in the pars intraarticularis at L5? Now, this is a very, very specific question. The L5 section is right down at the bottom here. And the pars intraarticularis is this little bit in here, just there, okay? And it's the bit that essentially holds your vertebra from falling forwards like that. Now, what can cause a break in it? Well, if we take a step back, what can cause the two bits to slip forwards? This is called a spondyloesthesis in the spine. Um, a bit of a mouthful, but that's the technical um, term for a forward slipping run. It can go backwards in the spine. That particular junction can have a congenital defect in so much that it never properly fuses as bone. It remains sort of a sort of a fake bone or pseudo bone structure, which means it can slowly move over time. We see quite a lot, unfortunately, of spondylolisthesis here just because we see patients that are, are really struggling with back pain uh, for quite some time. And what you often find is there's a bit more of an overall problem with that spine. For example, a lot of people that get these breaks, this is a chronic stress and it's basically a stress fracture or breakage whereby instead of the spine being nice and supported at the right angle, their spine is shifted forwards like that. So there's an awful lot of forward pressure and it's only a matter of time before this bone here starts to break or fail and then the, thing, the whole thing slides forwards. So that can be a positional problem grossly through the whole of the lumbar spine, also made worse by what's going on at the top. So the whole body's leaning forwards, creating this terrible shearing motion, which damages that section. It can also come from a trauma as well. It can be in a car accident or some sort of fall in that manner. It could also come from a chronic hyperextension. So when basically that joint is bending backwards, a lot of people, because of traumas or the way they've used their body, they end up with these pivot points in the spine, more commonly to do with traumas. And that jams these two bits of the spine in like that, creating a tremendous amount of focal pressure at that one joint. It's common that you find a hyperextension down here and then actually a flat lumbar spine as sort of a more pathological posture. And that can also predispose to getting damage in that section of the spine or this L5 pars fracture. Ultimately, if you think you might have this, you'll generally have quite local pain here when it's, when it's flared up for the first time, or it may, at the same time, start as a band-like pain across the lower back, which can be quite deep and quite aching, but not necessarily quite so intense as it may cause you to go and see someone about it. So if you have had this sort of lingering baseline lower back pain, because that's where these uh, these instances, these spondylolisthesis most commonly occur, then it is most definitely worth going to see an osteopath or chiropractor who can actually refer you for imaging, like the stuff that we do here, and then formulate an appropriate plan of action to actually treat it. Because when, this, when the past fractures actually get significantly bad and you get a full-on break of that section of the spine, it then becomes rather difficult to help. Uh, some people go down the route of surgery, others go down the route of trying to stabilize and support the spine as effectively as possible, which is obviously very important. Something here we help patients try to do as effectively as possible.